Hey, welcome back to Pete Plays. Here we're playing Chain Echoes. We're running around the Fjol Woods. And uh, we were searching for um, just another... With just one more buried treasure. Just one more buried treasure if we could find it. Um, we haven't found it yet, but let's keep looking. I don't suppose we're going to find buried treasure on the platforms here. Um, I, uh, boy, I got a lot of thoughts in my brain today, but the first one is that I'm drinking an absolutely delicious coffee this morning. Um, and so I just want to shout out in front of the show, Patrick, for sending me this lovely coffee by design uh, from Portland, Maine. Uh, they've got a, uh, a, a blend? I don't know the right word. There's a bag with a kind of coffee. Uh, it's named after Dame Alice Greeley, Portland Tavern owner, died 1795. And it's a coffee that is aged in gin barrels. Ooh, a collaboration with three of strong spirits honoring spirits alive three of strong spirits honoring spirits alive i think that's all one name um stewards of portland's historic eastern cemetery um it's an absolutely lovely coffee i'm going the wrong way how do i get out of here how do i get down get down from there um i want to get on the ground and be a fighting boy remember Remember how I want to be a fighting boy? Um, oh, there goes the girl. It's over here to the right. Um, yeah, so um, there's still a guy that we can go talk to. That upper section. We'll go ahead and fight these boys. Um, There's a guy that we can go talk to. I was trying to kind of like level up a little bit or maybe do some different, what? Why did that hurt me so bad? Um, it's not who I intended. Um, we're gonna go talk to the guy and he's gonna, t there it is. I, boy, howdy. Um, we're gonna go talk to the guy and he's gonna tell us, uh, all about life and love and how to defeat some bad guys. Ouch. Okay, well, goodbye. <laughs> Gee, mini Christmas. Hi, bud. Hi, you wanna come here? Come on up. This is my sweetie girl. Hey, have you, do you like jazz? Have you met jazz? I'm not paying a lot of attention. Um, hey, uh, why are you stay? <laughs> oh, what a weirdo. Um, this battle is already going pretty poorly. Um, Huh. Well, let's try that out. Boom. Hey, that wasn't that good. And now Sienna's dead. Um. And now we're all dead. Oh, no, we're not. Great.
Ah, didn't finish him. Bye. Nope, okay. Well, okay. Okay, wow. This is... This is really happening. Well... I would say this is going uh, quite poorly. Um... Who do I want to bring back? Glenn, for sure. For sure. All right. This this stinks. This isn't fun. Let's just get out of here. Do they both come back? Looks like. I don't... Let's just start that battle over. I, I want to find this buried treasure, though. You know? Okay. That was a good move. Um, so, coffee aged in gin barrels. Uh, definitely very delicious. Um, so thanks, friend of the show, Patrick, for that. Uh, I'm really, really enjoying it. Um, sweetie baby uh, decided she didn't... <laughs> She didn't want to be in my lap for more than five seconds, and now she's sitting in her bed and uh, chewing on a bone. Like a sweet, sweet, sweetie. Oh, man. Bing, bang, bong. Um, I had a dream that was maybe one of my least favorite dreams I've ever had. Um... And that's saying something, because I've had some really awful dreams. <laughs> um, hate it. Hate it. Uh, I had a dream that I was going on a flight, and I, I was taking Jazz with me, and I lost her. Um, I just, I lost her at the airport, and I was really really distressed about it um and oof let's just do that i was really really upset about it and like everybody in my family was like we don't care um and i asked my mom to drive me to the airport to to find her because you know how dreams are like somehow I wasn't at the airport anymore um, and we got like two minutes into the trip and then she goes mm, I don't feel like it anymore I was like what oh wait you know what I should do instead this um and uh, so I tried to get my brother to help me. And then he was like, I don't really care. And I woke up and Jess wasn't there anymore. Um, but it's because she had, you know, wandered out of the bed to go like, it was right around dawn. Um, so she had gone to look out the window to, you know, watch stuff. Oh man, I'm just doing a real bad job. Now it's time to do all the stuff with the thing and the stuff and the people who want to go to burp, burp, burp. Ow! Um, yeah, so that was upsetting. Um, I did not enjoy that. Why? Why you do this? This how you do me? Okay. Boy, that was unpleasant for three SP but it's because I gotta find another buried treasure and oh that's right this is the O'Grain Grottoes oh and I can't 
Yeah, and I can't get down there. Sting Quinkle! Oh well. No big bruchy. <laughs> oh, uh, my uh, controller drift walked me right in there. I didn't want to do this again. Hmm. Well, that's what happens to me. Um, anyway, that's my life. Oh, you know what? I don't want to use that there because we'll basically get it on the next move. Man, that's just not very strong. I don't like it. Okay, there's a miss. There's a, there's a miss. Nice. Now it's Glenn's turn to counterattack and to punch them with his robot friend that he builds. I like the idea that he just carries around these pieces like Chewbacca carries C-3PO on his back. <laughs> um, I saw X slash here. Zang zang. Wasn't very good. Okay. And that's just fine. That was mostly just to get my overdrive bar down. Ow. Ancient spores, because he's an old, old dinosaur boy. <laughs> yep, and then I can arms break this guy. Oh, he's already got it, though, so it's just extended. Uh, and now I can... Oh, I don't have pedal... Pedal punch. What's it called? I don't know. Flower. Pedal Storm. Pedal. Pedal Punch. <laughs> I don't know. I like Pedal Punch. That's a pretty good name. Okay, here we go. Boom, 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 Chris blocked. Yes, I love that. Yeah, she is just a much better healer. It's because she's basically a white mage and Victor is kind of a red mage. Um, but I love her little hunting actions. It's like if Shadow were a white mage in uh, FF6. That would be very... That's cool. Um, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop it. I'm going to do it one of these days. I'm going to fix it. Into overdrive we go. Bonk. Miss and bite me, dog dinosaur. Oh man, that wind breath move is b -b -b brutal. But hey, I also remember. Ah, oh, crud. Peter's not paying attention. Because he's a silly billy boy. Ow.
All right. Robot friend, punch them. Bob, do something. <laughs> that's, an, that's an Overwatch thing. There's a, there's a pretty cool character named... Uh, Je oh, what's her name? Jesse? It's not, that's not it. I don't remember. Um, she's a cool, like, cowgirl, and she's got a robot sidekick named Bob, and her, like, in Overwatch, whoops, in Overwatch you get these things called, um, ultimate attacks, or alts. Um, I never do this. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna wreck it. Ow. Um... And hers is to send Bob into an area, and then Bob has this... Bob kind of looks like, um... The, the, the big bad boy battle droids from uh, Star Wars 2 and 3. Um, the real big beefy boys. Um, and, uh... I don't really need to do that, but whatever. Um... He comes in and he just burr, 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 like just plows away. Um, How? Glad I did that because I don't think she would have survived without the uh, regen or the heal. Ba bum bum ba bum 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 ba bum bum. There we go. Ooh, I got a dragon spore. I leveled up a skill. Okay, I don't want to go in a cave until I've looked around on all of the ground. It's kind of amazing to me that I haven't found... Boy, this is getting annoying. That I haven't found... All the buried treasure in the fjord woods. A will to live. Like it's just, it's kind of like man. Can't, can't believe it. Um. So I've checked middle, top, top left, this one. Hmm. This is a treasure hunting episode. Looking for treasure with me. It's Pete. Which, uh... I'm sort of fine with. Oh, sweetie baby is. Oh, oh I said, <laughs> I said, sweetie baby, and she looked at me. She was asleep. <laughs> I doubt it's down here, but I just gotta be thorough. 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 Henry David Thorough. Uh, I believe he pr his name was he pronounced his own name Thoro, Henry David Thoro. That's at least what I remember learning in um, uh, American Lit One, which I took with uh, with friend of the show Patrick way back in two thousand six. Um, hey ducks, not enough. What does that mean? Um, yeah, we were in the same class, if you can believe it. Um, boy, I would love to figure out how to make something happen with this, but all right. Let's go to the camp and see if we can... You know what? I wonder...
Okay. So I wonder if I'm basically just gated from getting the last couple things. Um, because that... Yeah. That section there is is cut off. Um, well, there he goes, wandering. Let's let's go back to New Wernge here. I can go to Wernshire Castle. Oh, there's no map here. King Frederick is allowing Gravos to have a small army. An army just big enough so that we can take care of our own inner affairs. Hmm. Do they just let me in here? Lady Bran is the late Lady Parnilla's sister. King Frederick allows her to rule over Gravos. But she has to follow every word he says. Wait, oh, Lady, we know Lady Bran. Only a few parts of the castle remain intact after the explosion from last year. Oh, meaning we can't go that way. Yes, yes, I remember you, Lady Bran. But apparently you will... Ooh, sacred water. But apparently you will not speak to me at this time. Well, goodbye. Okay. Okay, let's do this. Let's... Oh. Hi, buddy. Oh, hey. No, why? Hey, why don't you love me? That dog does not love me. Oop, here we go. Here we go. Oh! It's you, Killian. So you escaped the Aurora. Hello, Glenn. I've heard you were in Wernshire. Never expected you to lead a clan, though. And I've never expected to see you... I never expected that my alarm was gonna go off because I didn't turn it. I woke up from my bad jazz dream. Um, I wasn't intending to get up so early, but... Here I am, and I never expected to see you in the church's armor. Nice look, isn't it? Who did you have to cheat to get it? Hmm. Glenn, what I did back then, I did because I really thought it was the most peaceful way. Offer Lenny as a sacrifice so you could earn a few coins. Think of me as an opportunist for all I care. I'm willing to pay any price. If I have to sacrifice a friend to save a hundred strangers from death, I will do so proudly. Hmm. I mean... I don't know, man. I don't know. I, like, that's, that's all very utilitarian and noble, but... Uh... But rest assured... This rank of commander was bought with information. What kind of information? Back in Kindrild, I found the diary of a monk who lived there at the same time as now Kilber. Most of what they wrote was useless, but I was able to define to Papandba. I was able to find a description of now Kilber. A very charismatic young man with silver hair and two colored eyes. Does that ring a bell? No, not really. Terran's counselor, Gwaine, an A.R. who can live for hundreds of years, joined the court the same time the Grimoire arrived there. You... You think that he's now Kilber? Well, they share the same appearance and are connected to the Grand Grimoire. Now Kilber vanished 50 years ago when Gwaine joined Terran's court. And this is what you've told the church? Not only. Two months ago, I returned to Kindred to find more information. And whatever book you opened... 
The church was always searching for the grave of Reyna. I know, they still are. True, but according to the books, they actually found it. Although they kept the location hidden. They found it? That makes no sense. Why are they still searching for it then? Something must have happened that kept this information from ever leaving the monastery. Wait, was Nell Kilber living there when they discovered it? Not bad, Glenn. That's exactly it. I bought this rank of commander with the information that Sir Gwain of Terran knows where the grave of Lady Reyna lies. I see. That explains it. Uh-oh. Commander, the bishop calls for you. Tell him I'll be with him in a moment. Yes, sir. Hmm. So what are you going to do now, Sir Killian? Will you be wearing that disguise for the rest of your life? For now, I'll play escort to Bishop Zacchaeus. <laughs> as long as he can be of use to you, right? Nothing more than a stone on the side of your path. Hmm. Glenn, I want to plow up this land and create from its roots a country free of hatred and discord. You all alone want to change the world. You surely know the metaphor that a king is like a puppeteer, and his people are like marionettes. He keeps the straps tight and thus controls his subjects. However, times have changed. Nowadays, a king does not hold the straps with an iron fist. He gives the people free space so that they don't notice they're hanging by the strings. But as soon as a puppet moves even a little bit too far... He tightens the strings and pulls the puppet back into position. So how are you going to free the people? Are you going to run from marionette to marionette and cut their strings? To find myself out of breath and my sword dull? No. I'm going to climb up my strings and chop off the puppeteer's hand. Then you're going to fall deep. It's a price I'll pay most gladly. Killian, you must have cut off the tyrant's hand, but each resident is still Hanging, whoops, I read that wrong. Killian, you may have cut off the tyrant's hand, but each resident is still hanging tied to a string. It won't be long until another puppeteer arrives and takes hold of the handle. Then we must make sure there's enough blood on it so that no one ever dares to. There you are, Killian. I've been waiting for you for ages. Our carriage is ready. We must go to Torment. Forgive me, Your Excellency. What are you doing in such a crumbling place anyway? You're just getting all dusty here. Come on, let's go before you catch something. Very well. You've heard him. I've got to go. Killian, what they're saying about this man. You and him. Did you? I told you it's a price I'll pay most gladly. Our meeting was short. Until we meet again, Glenn. Stay alive. Whoa, what price am I willing to pay? How far am I ready to go? Hmm. Man, I gotta tell you, the world of JRPGs, I guess this isn't technically a JRPG, the world of RPGs has come a long way since Final Fantasy VI, which was, as things stand, like a pretty deep story right i mean deep well maybe broad is a better way of saying it um i can't oh i know how to get otter nobunaga maybe i'll go do that um but uh but honestly This uh, this one is just really I don't know man it's 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 complex it's got characters that just have really kind of compelling stories um they all have different motivations and I'm really interested in um no that's not what I want level that up those are all maxed out um yeah i'm really interested in this uh 
idea of like, what do things cost? What am I willing to, um, what am I willing to do, right? To obtain my goals, even noble goals, right? Like, um, I, I, Killian, I think has noble goals. Like he, he wants to get rid of like tyranny, right? That's, that's a pretty noble goal. And also, you know, I, I want to swap her skills actually. Oh, I messed up. Um, right. Like that's, It is it is noble to want people to be free and to get rid of like overbearing oppressive structures, right? But Huh. I don't know that I want to swap any of these out. Oh, but everybody has a gr Oh, what am I doing? Everybody has a new boo-boo. Um Ooh, fire strike. That sounds rad for sure. Um, TP cost down. That's cool. Reduces physical damage. Reduces magical damage. Um, it, it it it's noble, right? Um, oh, let me try that. That's cool. Um, it's noble to want that, and oh, that could be a good one to use with the pierce. Um, it's just <clears throat> it's it's tough to say. Like, hey, I, I want to get rid of oppression, right? Or I want to get rid of oppressors and not also metal axe and not also have um a like an idea of what Skills cost no TP for three turns. Afterwards, the lo user loses all TP. That's a good, like, boss fight skill. Um, if you don't have a good theory of, like, how it all works, you know? Um, what am I trying to say? I, my whole, like, silly dissertation is... Not my whole thing, but, like, a big part of it is... This idea that um, you you have to have a theory that or, or an idea that accounts for like what makes us the the people that we are. Inflicts one random irresistible ailment to an enemy who attacks the target for the future. That's kind of cool. Kind of like that. Um. Right, like, fire strike. Okay, oh, I can't. I can't talk about that and also do menuing. I'm not. I'm not good enough. Um, heal all. Risky heal. Crest command. Raise channel energy. Piercing shot fire storm. Ah, uh, I don't really do the the one heal that often. Um, boy, I don't use cleanse hardly ever either. But thrust, jump. I think I'm gonna keep jump. Okay, that's good. Got a good mix of uh, like all attacks and single attacks. 
Oh, man. She's just got so many good moves that it's really hard. Man, that Shadow Step move is really cool. I use Blade Reflection all the time. I need to use Nukitsuke more. I think... I don't really use Pill for that much. But it's mostly just because I've been running into monsters who like don't have stuff to steal. But I don't know. We'll do that. Um... That's good. That's good. There we go. I can up that. If, oh, freak wave! That makes it cost less. Ooh, nice. Let's do that for sure. Um, bee sting. Bees. I don't. I don't know why it's, that didn't mean anything. Um, I'm gonna take Earth. Oh, you know what? No, I want to do it with Pressure Point. So I want to make sure I still have. Okay, there's that. And I think I didn't. Oh, that's right. I have Ailment Trap. Toxic Shock, Paralyzed Shot, Explosion Trap, Pandemic. I like these two together. I like that. I like that. I think I'll just... We'll try it out. Okay. Um, okay, here's the thing. Um... I have to... Uh, man, I have to double check because I don't remember... I, I just went ahead and looked up like how to get Otter Nobunaga. And I have to remove... All of my... I don't uh, know if it's all my equipment or just all of my armor. You will have to remove all of your character's equipment except for accessories. Okay. Okay. It's okay, buddy. Um, so let's do that. Okay. And then I have to go to the area. And what? That must be him. Okay. Well. Okay. I wasn't expecting to get to use my sky armor for this, but this doesn't feel good. Wait, I something feels wrong about this. The monsters will drop an Emperor's Hand and will reward you with 400 Arc and 50 SP. You can even visit a guild leader. Man. Okay, it doesn't say anything about using armor. Um, it kind of feels like cheating. Oh, we're already overheated. Gee, many Christmas. Ah, I see. I only get... Okay. Okay, I think I have to leave the area if I want him to come back. Um, I bet I only get the 50 SP if I do it on foot. So let's go somewhere else. Um, and then come back and see if he returns. Okay. 
Bop, 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 bop. Disappointing seashell. I'm so disappointed by this seashell. Is he back? He is back. Okay, it's saved. Okay. You know what I just realized? Now I can put my equipment back on. I think I made him a summoner. Oh boy, now I don't even remember. Oh, stink. I don't... Oh, man. Purple Bruce, Drunken Master, Easy Robbery, Flashlight, Ether Sucker. No. Uh, maybe I didn't have him as anything. I, I'm pretty sure I had her. Uh, okay, good. I had the warrior move. Strong suit. Uh, I had her as the vampire. I don't think I had a class for Bethraz. Victor. Oh, Glenn was the monk. Oh, Victor didn't have anything. Um... But Thraz was a bandito. All right. Now I'm going to save. Boy, thanks for sitting with me through the dramatic menuing. Man. What is Kaelian up to? Okay, here. I'm, I'm going to do this. Uh, uh, talk about this while I'm in this fight. So. You can't just be like, I want people to be free. Uh, because that um, presumes that there is an already um, like existing, transcendental, free subject within all of us. And if you believe that, that's great. I think that historically it's a problem to attempt to assert that, and it's a it's a really sort of enlightenment prejudice. I, by prejudice, I don't mean um, like like bad or bigoted. I just mean like it's a thing that we tend to think that we take for granted, right? We don't tend to think about um, maybe if his That's fire element physical attack for fire. Oh, for all? <gasps> I didn't realize that. That's going to whip if he really is weak to fire. Um. I don't think he is weak to fire. Yeah! Yo, that was cool. Um, so, uh, basically, I think that that's, like, not a thing. Um, and, uh, maybe that's a, a prejudice on, on my side, right? But I, I feel like I have pretty strong, like, philosophical reasons for, um, Supposing that that's the case. Um, try the cross slash. Pretty good. Let's raise our crit rate. Um, ooh. So, there's no, like, magically free transcendental subject, right? Um, if that's the case then we 
become who we are thanks in part to a lot of stuff that's just not up to us. And some of those things are sort of just the way they are. Um, and that's not to give in to fatalism or say that things are inevitable or whatever. That's just facticity, right? I was born in the year 1988. I cannot change that, nor can anyone change that, unless we go down to the very foundation of what it means to be born in a year, right? Like, unless we just change how time works or something. Um, and not even... Like, if I, if I decree, like, okay, I'm going to wipe the memory of all humans, and I'm going to make people believe that the year I was born was the year one, then I was born in the year one. But still, like, that didn't change anything about me. That just changed the circumstances of what I call that particular piece of facticity about myself, right? So that's supposed to be just like an average um, example. I wonder if I can get a skill. Ah... Um, that's just like a, 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 an average example of things that are just how it goes for me, right? Um, there's no change in it and, and that's fine. That's not a problem, right? It's not a part of an oppressive structure that I, uh... See if I can do it again. I don't think it's gonna work, but nah. Okay, well. Um. Oh no, we've been charmed. I don't know what it means to be charmed. I guess. All right. Well, I got an otter nose and two SP. Well, I think I missed out on my chance to get a lot of SP, and that's. A stink rooney but... Hey, where's the nearest guild? Hey, where's the Gatling gun? Um... That's a good question. I don't remember where guild, guild friends are. I don't think it's Basil. I think the guild in Farnsport got punched. Um... What is this? What? That's new. Is it? Oh, no, wait. I don't know what that is. I don't think there's a guild in New Wernshire. Okay, I, I'm pretty sure there's one in Tormund. There's got to be one in Tormund. Um, Why is everything so sad? Um, oh, you know what? Maybe there, there isn't, because that's the underground thing. Oh, man. All I want to do is uh, go talk to some guild friends and get them to give me stuff. That's all I want for the end of this episode. Um, so, no, this ain't it. Stink. Um, yeah, like, there's just stuff about you that's never going to change. And that, while it's not bad, like, it's also not, like, I am not free to not be born in 1988. And I'm fine with that. And I don't really think that that's a, a very meaningful part of my freedom. But also, anyone who's like, we're radically free is just wrong. And maybe that's the only way that we're not radically free, but I don't think it is. I, I want to find... Nisa, that where? 
why can't I find guildy towns? The the guild excuse me, the guild in Farnsport got hurt. Tormund, I can't find it. New Wernshire, I didn't see it. It's Rolling Fields, Mountain Range, Fjord Woods, Flower Fields. I don't think there was one in Arcant. So maybe there's just no guild right now? I don't know, man. It's kind of a bummer. Um, something tells me... Uh, something tells me we need to go back to the monastery. Um, I thought we could just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something tells me we need to go back here. Um, so I'm going to try that out on the next episode. Boy, this, this episode was all over the place. Um, but maybe we'll talk more about like what it means for someone to have like radical freedom or whatever. Um, basically, uh, the spoiler is I think Killian is operating according to an unsustainable view of what it means for people to be free. And that when you just... Like, yeah, if people are puppets controlled by masters, you would ideally like them to sort of be on their own. But imagine how unprepared you are to be cut off of your strings um, when you've spent your whole life being controlled by a master. And that's not an argument from paternalism. That's just, like, reality, right? Like, you can have too much freedom too fast. And we know this from human development. We know this from addiction. We know this from political history, right? Like, there has to be something better than just, like, there's no rules! Ah! And uh, if, if you doubt that that is the case, uh, read... William S. Burroughs junkie and, and tell me that like, I don't know, maybe that's anecdotal evidence, but like, man, when you have total freedom and you're not ready for it, you can mess things up real bad. Uh, anyway, wow. Pete plays the movie again. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it. I love it. I, um, I never get tired of it. I hope you don't either. Bye. <laughs>